Okay. Do it, Russ. Alright. Um, today I'm going to tell you about my pet peeves. My two main pet peeves that I have is nagging and uh, over-emotional people. The main part I have about nagging is my parents. And the main thing they've been nagging me about in my life is responsibility. Like, I'm the kind of person that I do what I want, when I want. I'm a free person. I like that. <laughs> and they've been saying, Russell, you need to get a job! Like, get off your ass and get a job! <laughs> they say that, don't worry. <laughs> and, um, now, this past, from June until December, I did have a job. I worked as a janitor helping them out at the church. And then afterwards, like the next week, they're like, get a job, get a job, get a job. I'm like, leave me alone, I already have money. I don't need a job. But they keep annoying me, so within the past week or so, I got some applications. And then the other thing that my parents always uh, nag me about is cleaning up. And it's always in my room and downstairs where I like to hang out with my PS3 and all my games and stuff. And um, it's just so annoying. It's like, Russell, clean up. Russell, why are you leaving the phone away or out of its hook? Russell, do this, do that. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> and then my next thing is teachers. There aren't really too many teachers that really nag me and annoy me, but there are some that really get under my skin. Like this teacher, Miss Fisher, at the uh, Career Center. She's like 99, going on the verge of death. <laughs> she has this evil death stare that she gives you. She's like, and oh my gosh, she creeps me out. Like, she has the crankiest voice, and she's just going around, scanning the room, like, hey. <laughs> and one day, me and my friend were done with our work. We're just talking, we're like having a good time, listening to music, and she's like, why are you doing work? Like, oh my god, leave me alone. <laughs> and she is, oh my god. And then, like, all the other kids that aren't done their work, they're just talking and goofing around. She's like, sit down, shut up, you're all going to the office. And she literally sent, like, six kids to the office that day. And, oh, it was, it was bad. <laughs> and then, my next thing is old people. And the only reason I have uh, problems with old people is because of my church. And church old people are probably some of the worst. I mean, they nag you a lot. And they're like, if you do something bad, they will point it out in an instant. Like, hey, you need to be respectful for your elders. I'm like, good luck with that. <laughs> and then they always have the cranky voices because they've like had three strokes and are about to die. <laughs> and uh, it's always the one that have like partial hair balding or like they try to color it and it ends up purple. And they always show up in front of me like, hey, how are you doing? Leave me alone. And it's just like, they nag me about the stupidest things and uh, it's annoying. And then my next thing is over emotional people. Um, they have a lot of pointless emotions that they go on about. You don't really understand it, especially when it's about dumb people. Like, the over-emotional girl from uh, Britney Spears, I think she had a YouTube video. I don't know. I heard about it, didn't watch it because I already knew it was stupid. The girl. Yeah, it was. It was on Sunday. That was a boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did watch it so I don't know, but it sounded really annoying. Okay. Um, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and give my two cents. No, I don't like those things. And I don't like people when they have pointless emotions about the wrong thing. Like this kid, John Redford, he goes to the career center, he's in my class. He goes to the and he's really telling me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, we were talking about games. He's like, you know, I still think Super Mario is the best game in the world. I'm like, shut up. No, it's not. It was 80s, dude. Freaking. <laughs> But he's like, oh, but it has the best graphics ever. No, it's 8-bit. That sucks. And he's like, it's so colorful and vivid. No, no. 1080p is colorful, not 8-bit crap. <laughs> and then I don't like it when people get over-emotional about their uh, possessions they have. Like the kid um, from the Greatest Freak Out video. He gets totally upset and tries to shove a remote up his butt because his mom destroyed his World of Warcraft account. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then some people get protective about things. And, okay.
okay. I, I don't get it, but still, it's, it's there. <laughs> and then people, I don't like it when they get over emotional about their ideals. I mean, I get that it's really important to people and all, especially like religion, like kind of like, I'd like to say Muslim or Buddhism, which one ever it is, one of those ones over East. Um, they're like Shia, and they're like, I'll do anything for my God. I'll blow you up. And then they go, boom. Kill you. It's like, okay. And then, um, I don't like it when people get over-emotional about their, like, personal idealistic building blocks of, like, who they are. I mean, you get, it makes you who you are. But then you just go into so much detail about it. It's like, I get your point. I get what you're getting at. You don't have to say it to me 10 billion times. I have my ideals. Let me be. And just leave me alone. It just gets annoying after someone just keeps shouting in your face so many times, trying to change you. I'm not going to change who I am just because you tell me to. I have to make a decision on my own. And I don't, it just annoys me. And that's my speech.